UBS Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Tonight, the 2014 season opener, the Eastern Illinois Panthers set to take on the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. Leitner back to pass, being pressured, being sacked, and he fumbles. And the Panthers have it, I think, at the 28-yard line. Leitner, who's had a history of kind of fumbling, lost the ball, and Eastern has recovered at the 28-yard line. Tamu Grugier Hill comes out with the football for the Panthers. Steps up, throws over the middle, short pass, knocked away and nearly intercepted. Making the play for Eastern was Adam Gristick over the middle on a short pass intended for Logan Hutton. It'll be fourth down. Good defensive play by Gristick. Edwards gets it away. Not a real strong kick. Jones floats to his right at his 28, takes it, hit immediately and downed. Panthers were all over him as soon as he caught the ball. Fake hand off, they give it to Williams, and again he tackled for a loss. The Panthers hit him behind the line and stop him. And Panthers with a blitz that time, and Robert Haynes came in from the near corner. Here's Jalen back to pass. Steps up to run, got room to go at the 30. 35, first down, 40, slides down at the 44. Whitlow, quick pass to the left, it's going to be a double pass. It's out to Leapak. He's going to throw it back to Whitlow, catches at the 20. Whitlow, 25, blockers in front, 35, 40, and out of bounds at the 45. A double pass, and it goes to completion from Jeff Leapak to Jalen Whitlow. And the handoff to Cobb, hit hard and dropped behind the line. Robert Haynes came bursting through the right side of the Minnesota offensive line, and he rocked top world right after he took the handoff. That was a very nice play by the Pittsburgh because uh, Cobb was trying to put a couple of moves on him and uh, wouldn't, wouldn't bite, bite on him. Meitner gets to Kirkwood. He's drilled behind the line. Dino Fonte got in there and dropped him back around the five or six yard line. Manley's going to go to the pistol now with Dre and Duncan behind him. There's the snap. Option play. Manley's going to keep it and go in for the touchdown. Andrew Manley cut back, found an opening over right tackle, and slid over. Takes the snap. They blitz him. He's back to pass. He's going to throw deep down the middle, and it's caught at the 50-yard line by Joe Powell for a first down. Good job by Manley to stand in there against the rush and deliver the pass for a 25-yard gain. Second down, three to go. Manley back to pass, setting up a screen on the right. Flares it out there, hits the Lira at the 10. Hurdles a man at the 5 and runs it in for the touchdown. Jimmy Lira, the senior from Lake Park, Florida, caught that pass around the 10-yard line. Looked like he was going to be tackled at the 8, and he hurdled the man and then kept going for the touchdown. That's the second time we've seen a very nice hurdle. First time it was by Max Williams, the big tight end from the University of Minnesota. And uh, that time, Lira just went over the top at about the five-yard line and then could walk into the end zone after that. Here is Kerr again. Here's the two steps, and there's the kick. And this time, Minnesota, oh, very high bounce, and Jeff Leapak recovered it. Thinking about going up and getting a rebound, Jeff Leapak, who is 6'6", jumped up out of a crowd and recovered it for Eastern at the Minnesota 45. Manley, first down and 10, down to seven seconds. Back to pass, could be the last play. He's going to fire it high and deep into the end zone for Adam Drake. And he got it. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. On the last play of the game, Drake made a terrific catch in the back of the end zone for a 32-yard touchdown pass. I tell you, I've been watching Adam Drake make catches like that for, for quite some time, seeing him play at Charleston High School. And uh, he never ceases to amaze me. There's the snap, quarterback run. He takes it to the left, and he's pulled down by Robert Haynes. Second tackle of the row for the senior from Punta Gorda, Florida. Whitlow sets up to pass in the pocket, throws down the middle, wide open at the 50. This is Adam Drake, 45, angles left to the 40-yard line. Big gainer for the Eastern Panthers, 29 yards. Drake was wide open. He fakes a handoff, going back to pass in the end zone, throwing it deep up the left sideline, and it is intercepted. Anthony Standifer, the transfer from Ole Miss with a leaping interception, and the Panthers have it back at the 41 of SIU. Ball at the right hatch. Here's Manley, low snap. He's back to pass. He's going to throw it into the right corner of the end zone, and touchdown, Eastern Illinois on a dandy catch by Anthony Taylor as he was falling out of bounds. 
Here's Manley back to pass. Three-man rush. He's loading it up down the middle. Leaping catch. Better first down to the 40-yard line. Anthony Taylor again having a big night. Agnew the running back out of the gun. They give it to Agnew straight ahead. Hit behind the line. Down he'll go. Eastern was stout at the point of attack. Little the running back on this play. They motion Duncan through the backfield. Rather Drake through the backfield. Whitlow back to pass. Loops it out left side. Got a man open. 45-50. This is Shepard Little out of bounds in Southern Territory. Nice touch pass to Shepard Little. Here's Whitlow out of the shotgun, and gives it through the middle, Little, cuts back to his left of the 40, breaks outside, 35-30, shook a tackle, 25 down, around the 24-yard line. And he's going to run it himself, left side, finds room, he's at the 20, 15, 10, to the 5-yard line. Whitlow showing a burst to split defenders. Whitlow goes to the shotgun with Duncan on his left, they'll hand it to Duncan up the middle, and he's over for the touchdown for Eastern Illinois. Good opening, and Taylor Duncan rambled home to make it 14-13. Now he goes in motion to the right. They hand it to him. No, they don't, and they sack Iannotti. He faked the handoff to Willis, and by that time, Robert Haynes was right in his lap and sacked him for about a 10-yard loss. First and 10, minute 22 for the half. They restart the clock. Back to pass Manley. Has time. So is the middle. Caught by Drake, 45-50. Splits the defense, 40, 35 to the 33. A great run after the catch by Adam Drake. Manley in the shotgun, ball to the left pass mark. Shepard Little in the backfield. Here's the snap. Manley's back, looking to the right. Now he's going to run with it. Gets out of the pocket to the left of the five. He'll go over. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Andrew Manley runs it over on a seven-yard scramble to give Eastern Illinois a 20-14 to lead. And Shepard Little realized what was happening, and he threw the key block that enabled Manley to get into the end zone for the touchdown. And Kudos to head coach Kim Dameron as uh, he was very aggressive on this last offensive series. And they're going to hand it on a little sweep around the right end and going to be grabbed way behind the line. McKinney took the handoff. D.J. Bland came across into the backfield, took him down for a big loss. They're going to hand it to Coppers heading around the right end, swings to the outside, hemmed in and tackled by Pono Choi. Short loss on the play. There the Panthers got some penetration. There's the snap. He's back to pass. Pressure through the middle. Throws. It's intercepted. This is Kamu Grugier Hill at the 40, at the 30, down the near sideline at the 20. Pushed out of bounds by Copperich inside the 15. First takeaway of the day. There's a penalty flag on the field as well as Kamu Grugier Hill, the junior linebacker, picks the pass off on the near sideline. 31 yard try into the win. Adam Drake will hold. Snap. Placement. Kicks up. Kick long enough, and the kick is good. He made that look easy. Yeah, he did. That was uh, straight down the middle. Very solid kick by Bruno. The turnover by Drew J. Hill results in points. Bruno, a 36-yard try into the wind. Good snap. Place down. Kicks up. Long enough. Kick is good. Nick Bruno's the MVP, Jack, for today. Yeah, no question about that. So it's now 14 to 6 as Nick Bruno has kicked both a 36 and a 35 yard field goal. He's back to pass. Panthers rush five. They pick it up. Roberson back at the 19. Laquise Taylor brings him down at the 19 yard line. Eastern did a nice job of collapsing that pocket. They fake it to Duncan. Uh, back to pass Whitlow throwing the bomb up the right side for Taylor. And he's got it at the 25 of Illinois State. A sliding catch by Anthony Taylor. 21 to 6 Illinois State. He's done on the drive at the start of the third period. Fake handoff. Whitlow on the keeper. Cuts inside. 10, 5, touchdown. Jalen Whitlow. He turned on a burst after he faked that handoff to Duncan and raced through the middle for the touchdown. Roberson will hand the cop with right side grab behind the line. A drop for a loss. Drew J. Hill is there. And also Robert Haynes, if they got good penetration into the backfield, looking left, steps up, pressure, throws it deep left side, going for Meredith, and a crowd incomplete at the goal line. Sandifer jumps up and actually nearly intercepted the ball to Whitlow. Back to pass, they blitz him. He's back, goes to the left. Yeah, Drake's got it, 50, breaks the tackle, 45. Drake angles left, 40, 35, blocker in front, 30. Drake to the 20 and out of bounds. Down around the 18-yard line, run out of bounds by Drew. Shane Glass, but a nice run after the catch for Adam Drake. Drops back, Eastern rushes four, some pressure up the middle, and they got him at the 21, and they sack him. Panther front forward did a nice job there to collapse that pocket. And Roberson hands it up the middle. Gray and grab right at the goal line and push back. But uh, I'm sure they'll say he got out, and he did, out to about the half yard line. Roberson, not much room to operate here. Hands the ball to Graham, and this time he will not get out of the end zone, and that is going to be a safety. Eastern tackles James Graham in the end zone for a safety with 8.43 to go in the game. 
Whitlow back, four-man rush, good time, going to the right sideline, Powell's open, got it, first down, he's at the 40, broken tackle, 35-30, taken down at the Austin P 30-yard line. Second and goal from the six, out of the shotgun, Whitlow looks to run to his left side, dodge one man at the 10, cuts back at the five and goes over, touchdown Eastern Illinois, the second touchdown this year for senior quarter, or rather junior quarterback Jalen Whitlow. That looked like a pretty much a designed run to me as Whitlow took it off around the left side and uh, made a nice cut. And then just kind of dove for the end zone and went in heads over heels. In the shotgun. We'll get through the middle, Duncan. No, Whitlow kept around right in. A lot of room, 40, 35, 30. Whitlow down the sideline, 20, 15, upended at the 14-yard line. Good fake to Duncan, and then Whitlow kept around the right end for a big game. Whitlow back to pass, a lot of time. Throws it right flat, hits Duncan at the five. Get the first down, goes for the goal line. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois on a great stretch by Duncan as he reached the right hand in the football out over the goal line when he was going down. Well, just exceptional individual effort that time by Taylor Duncan as they swung him out of the backfield. He was open to receive the pass. And he picked up the first down, but he wasn't satisfied with that. He made a nice uh, leap over a couple of defenders. Whitlow on first down, fakes a handoff, end around to Keandre Gober, coming around the left end, a lot of room, he's at the 40, Gober at the 50, blocker in front, 40, 30, and tiptoes out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Huge opening on the near side when Gober came around the end. Yeah, that was just a well-designed play. Austin P got caught inside, there was no outside containment as Gober just cruised around. He didn't even actually have to take that play that wide. And Finally got bumped out of bounds. Two wide receivers right, one to the left. Whitlow again, empty backfield. He'll run again. Up the middle at the five, pushing behind Seibert, and he goes over. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois, as Colin Seibert led the way into the end zone, and Whitlow just got behind him and followed him in. Fake handoff, Whitlow back, a lot of time, steps up, gunning it deep, down the hash mark right for Drake, he's got it at the 25, nice throw, Drake had about a half a step on the defender, Montez Carlton, and Whitlow put it right in his hands. Yeah, that was a great throw and, and, and a really good catch too as uh, Drake went up to get it. Carlton had about as good a coverage as you possibly could have. Second down and six at the seven. And a handoff to Lira, heading right, finds a hold at the five, and has got an easy walk-in touchdown. Jimmy Lira scores his second touchdown this year, number six in his career. Big Panth opening on the right side. Panthers started this ball game towards the bottom in uh, rushing yardage uh, in the OVC, but they have really showed the ability to run the football against this Austin P defense. Panthers have it at the Austin P 13, first and 10. Whitlow handoff to Lira, left sweep at the 15, at the 10, at the the five. It's a touchdown for Jimmy Lira and Eastern Illinois. Great blocking by the Panther offensive line, and when Lira turned the corner, there was nobody there. There is a penalty flag in the end zone. Let's hold on just a moment. Lira turned that corner, and I think he went in untouched. Very nice block there by Colin Seibert as the uh, little kick-out block on Roderick Owens, one of the defensive backs for Austin P. Snap to Campbell, Panthers with a rush, and they block it. Inside the 10, inside the five, and it's a touchdown for Eastern Illinois. Antoine Johnson blocked the kick and recovered it himself for the touchdown. Well, a great play by the special teams, which have played much better this afternoon as well. And I mentioned uh, early on in this ball game, Mike, that Campbell takes an awful lot of time to get those punts away, and that time the Panthers got in there cleanly. Back to pass, little, uh, Manley first down, throwing it deep up the left side. Got Gober leaping catch at the Austin P 43. Broke the tackle and is pushed out at the 41. Good catch by Gober on a jump ball. Jonathan Schuler pushed him out at the Austin P 41. Gober managed to get himself a little separation there, so he had to go high to claim that uh, pass, but uh, he did have a little room to come down. Here's Manley, rolling to the right, planned run, he keeps the 30, 25, 20, got the first down at the 15, down to the 10-yard line. Manley with a 20-yard run around the right end. As a runner, he is not bad himself, and he showed uh, flashes of it there. Third down. Almost goal to go from here. And a handoff heading to the right side, cutting in at the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown on his first carry as a Panther. Malik Harrison goes for the touchdown. Harrison, a freshman out of Springfield, Illinois, took the handoff around the right end and just weaved his way 22 yards for a score. And he says this college football stuff is easy. Handoff Franklin, veers outside, cuts in across the 45, fumbles the ball, it's loose, 
and Eastern recovers at the 41. First turnover of the day as it squirted away from Franklin and recovering the ball for Eastern, Bradley Dewberry, the freshman from Stockbridge, Georgia. Here's Manley on the handoff through the middle. Woodson, good hole, 15, 10, weaving at the five and over for the touchdown. A.J. Woodson gets in the scoring column. Whitlow takes the snap, takes the handoff, looks the pass, throws it over the middle, and it's caught by Drake at the 45 to the 40, down to the Ohio 37, a big play to start the game. Adam Drake, who is second in the country in receiving, with a big one to start the game. Out of the shotgun, Whitlow hands it to, no, keeps the right side, a lot of room, 35-30, cuts back, 25-20, 15, 10, to the eight-yard line, goes Whitlow as he kicked it into another gear and ran it right down the right hand mark for a big game. This is only going to be an 18-yard attempt into a little breeze from a tight angle with the left hash mark. Good snap, picks up, kick is good, and Eastern is on the board. On third and eight, they blitz, back to pass. Whitlow steps up, throws middle, caught by Leapack in Ohio territory for a first down at the 37. Good throw into some traffic. Leapack made the catch. Looking left, takes the short pass, now throws it to the left side line, intercepted by Eastern Dewberry. at the 50 by Bradley Dewberry, and he falls down at the 47 of Ohio. Bradley Dewberry, a freshman, makes his first career interception. Duncan, the running back, on third and six. Whitlow rolling out to the right. Deep drop, setting up a screen back to the left to Shepard at the 30. Blockers, 25, F upside 20, 15. Nico Shepard to the 10 to the 7. Nico Shepard, the sophomore from Fort Lauderdale, a third and goal inside the one. Here's Whitlow on the call, man in motion. They fake it to him, Whitlow on the keeper, right side, touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Whitlow ran off tackle, found the team, and got over for the score. So the Dewberry interception leads to an Eastern touchdown with 8.05 to go in the first half. Here's Sprague on the call, Panthers blitz. He runs option to the right, pitches back, Olet, tripped up in the backfield, and down he goes to the 49 as Anthony Goodman came flying out of the secondary. Here's Sprague, takes the snap, he's back. He's gonna throw it up the left sideline, overshows the receiver, intercepted! Anthony Standifer with his second interception of the year back at the eight yard line. Good job of playing the ball there. Mix up as a see yeah. between Sprague and the receiver. The overshot is by a lot. And Standifer backpedaling on the sideline, jumped up and made the pick. He hands it to Tim Edmond, backup running back, who's going to be tackled for a loss, and there's a penalty flag. Robert Haynes again comes in and makes a stop for about a three yard loss. Back to pass Whitlow on first down. Has to step up to avoid the rush. He's going to run to his right at the 40, up to the 45 50, to a whole 40. Whitlow in a sprint to the 30, picks up blockers 20 15. Whitlow upended at the 10 yard line. Saving the touchdown was Josh Kristoff as Whitlow on a scramble out of the pocket goes over 100 yards rushing on the day. Two wide out this way. Whitlow out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Looking, throwing over the middle. Touchdown, Anthony Taylor. Nice throw by Whitlow. Taylor was well covered by Nelson, and Whitlow gunned it in there, and Taylor held on with tight uh, coverage on it for the touchdown. 24-yard try. Good snap, low snap. Drake picks it up. Bruno gets the kick up, and the kick is good. 